Hello everyone. So now I'm going to discuss example 21. So given that 3x plus 1 over 5 minus x less than equals to 1. Step number 1. I'm going to transfer the 1 from the right to the left. 3x plus 1 over 5 minus x minus 1 less than equals to 0. Step number 2. I'm going to equate the denominator. So 3x plus 1 minus 5 minus x over 5 minus x less than equals to 0. Step number 3. I'm going to expand. 3x plus 1 minus 5 plus x over 5 minus x. Step number 4. I'm going to simplify the situation and we will have 4x minus 4 over 5 minus x. Step number 5. Since this is a simplest form, meaning that we can't factorize or simplify anymore, so we are going to determine the sign, which is a negative sign. Step number 6. We are going to split the situation and by assuming that it is always positive. So now we have to split the case 4x minus 4. As we mentioned earlier, we assume it is a positive, so greater than equals to 0. Next, 5 minus x. We are also trying to let them as greater than 0 because it's always positive. But do remember, this time we cannot equate with equals to 0 because as a denominator, qx, it cannot be equals to 0. That's why there is no equal signs. Simplify. So x greater equals to 1 and x less than 5. Now I'm going to illustrate the situation in the real number line where we have 1 for the left hand side and 5 on my right. Then circle. x is greater and equals to 1. So towards the right. Next, empty circle x less than 5. So we will have this one. Next, we are going to place the sign where the empty space will be the negative because this is a positive real number line. So finally, we will have negative, positive and negative. So in order to select the correct sign, we have to refer to the diagram, so which is a negative value. So negative will be our answer. So finally, our answer will be negative infinity until 1 union 5 until infinity where 5 is not included this is what we call the interval and if it is in set notation or solution set our answer will be or x greater than 5 so now I'm going to talk about 21b First, I'm going to transfer 2 over x from the right to the left so that the right hand side becomes 0. So 2 x minus 1 minus 2 over x less than 0. Next step, I'm going to equate the denominator. So 3x minus 2 x minus 1 over x minus 1 x. Next, I'm going to expand. So 3x minus 2x plus 2 over x minus 1 and x. Simplify the situation. We will have x plus 2 over x minus 1, x less than 0. So now we have the simplest form. So it is the time to identify the sign which is a negative. Next step, we are going to split the situation. First, we have to assume it is always positive. So we will have x plus 2 greater than 0, x minus 1 greater than 0, finally x greater than 0. x greater than negative 2, x greater than 1, 
and x greater than 0. So now I'm going to illustrate the situation in a real number line. So where we will have negative 2 on the left, in the middle will be 0, and finally will be 1. Empty circle, x greater than negative 2, towards the right. Empty circle, x greater than 0, towards the right. x greater than 1, again, towards the right. Fill up the empty space with a negative sign because this is a positive real number line. So finally, we will have negative, positive, negative, and positive. So in order to select the region, we are going to refer to the sign. So it is a negative, so our answer will be negative and negative. So finally, our answer will be negative infinity until negative 2, where the negative 2 is not included union 0 until 1 where 0 and 1 is not included this is what we call the interval next in the solution set our answer will be x less than negative 2 or 0 until 1 where 0 and 1 is not included so here we are and thanks for watching